My struggle with um, my body image is I used to be bigger and um, when I was younger I used to kind of hate myself for that. Um, you know there's a lot of factors that went with it um, including my family and so I didn't really have like an outlet to um, kind of like talk about those issues. I'm definitely more skinnier you know I had facial hair in grade school. I was pointed out or ostracized a lot based on my appearance, so naturally I got self-conscious about it. Uh, when I hear male body image, um, a few words that come to mind are insecurity um, and just overall uh, hesitance of acceptance. As, as a culture, we do not engage men in whether or not they have, uh, they, whether they have body issues. Actually, when you review the evidence, you usually find that uh, body issues was understood as a woman's problem. Body image transcends just one ethnicity. Tra body image transcends one body type. It affects everybody. Social media definitely influences um, body image, um, usually negatively because a lot of times on Instagram you're gonna see muscular dudes doing workouts, um, you know, very buff. And that's the problem, the, the particular problem of the message around the body is that it is never enough. It is always, there is always something to be done. You know, it, it, it breeds in them a sense of anxiety. Um, a feeling as though that they need to reach this standard, not for themselves, but for the others around them. And with that comes a lot of, a lot of pressure. It may feel for someone, you know, I'm the only one that has an issue. Uh, everybody else is good, and why do I have this issue? As a kind of a way to accept my appearance was small steps first. Look in a mirror, because typically I used to hate looking at myself in a mirror because was, I was forced to face the reality of what I actually looked like. You know, I would say men are disproportionate in help seeking when it comes to body image uh, due to, you know, somewhat a bit of insecurity. Um, a very, I guess, bubble idea of what it means to be a man, as well as uh, how they should carry themselves. Men are afraid to be vulnerable because it goes against everything that society says what a what masculinity should be. Being vulnerable is an essential part of our lives because it's what allows us to connect, allows us to be able to engage with people. The uh, More Than Muscles program helps provide people with like body image um, an outlet just to talk and kind of to vent and having that conversation. It's one thing to hear statistics and, you know, say that, you know, the male body image is, you know, toxic, whatever, but it's another thing to have a conversation about it and, um, you know, with the program, you do have the outlet. I would say the More Than Muscles program provides basically just other people as a soundboard. Um, it's a chance to kind of express yourself maybe in an atmosphere that you don't typically have. And overall, just another way to kind of express your opinion. And it's, it's a place to be vulnerable with peers that also struggle with the same issue and not be ostracized or judged for it. More, more Than Muscles is... Uh... It's an inclusive space. So there, so as we work in this program, we are ver we are trying to be very much aware to not make it just a a, a white centric approach. So uh, issues regarding uh, regarding race, regarding sexuality, uh, are very much encouraged and discussed. It's nice having an outlet to talk with other guys about, you know, these issues where you don't really have that availability. It can at times uh, be difficult. No one says it's, it's easy, but, when, uh, but when, when a group of men give themselves the permission to be able to talk about this, uh, there are many fruitful conversations that can be had. Say for somebody with body image concerns, uh, the More Than Muscles program can provide somebody uh, an actual uh, conversation as opposed to just some resource online, you know, some article that you can read. Uh, it's somebody that can kind of be in your corner going forward.